Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is Ulan Gaming, and we have some very exciting stuff for you today. As you all know, Monday came by, and we finally got the announcement on our new Civ coming in. We got a full screenshot showing off several of their buildings and their flag, and that flag in particular has revealed the new civilization to be Mexico again. That's right, they're re-releasing the same Civ twice. We're gonna have two different versions of it, two different decks that you can make. It's gonna be really fucking crazy and really fucking confusing. We have Mexico, and then we're going to have other Mexico, all right? One of them is gonna have the, the revolt mechanic, and the other one is going to be, uh, looks like more in line with the Europeans. I don't know. It could be really crazy, but we do know for sure that we are getting Mexico twice. Now, let's get into it. Now, uh, as, as we first analyze this picture, the first thing we will notice is that over on the very top left of the picture, we see mills. And what are these mills being worked by? Settlers. Yes, that is right. That is a new, that is a confirmation that this new civilization will have settlers. Uh, now, it's, it's very clear to me that this is a very intentional gameplay decision. Not many civilizations have settlers, so this is a, a very daring approach to a civilization's economy. I'm just kidding, guys. It's Italy. I know it's Italy. Uh, and we're here to look at the actual shit. Okay. Uh, all seriousness. Ah. Uh. Now, let, 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 let's get into it. It's, it's really fucking exciting. We see that they have kind of Spain-looking uh, barracks. Uh, they also have, like, the sexiest fucking artillery foundries I've ever seen in my entire life. Look at that. That is such a good model. Uh, other than that, we don't see too many unique buildings. There are these two kind of... Uh, I don't even know what you would call them. They, 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 they kind of remind me... Uh, visually of banks, except like real-life banks, and maybe not like, you know, Dutch banks. Uh, some sort of economic building that's very clearly not a house, because we actually see normal houses over on the left side. Uh, we also see that they have pretty normal docks and an arsenal. We also see they have this pretty unique tower uh, that, has, that, that seems to have uh, lots of cannons going up. It could be a unique upgrade. Uh, com that, that's different from the just normal outposts. Uh, I, either way, I am very curious to see how this, this functions. It could be, uh, yeah, I got nothing. Uh, we also see next to them that there's a cannon along the beach, and at first I thought this was just kind of like some kind of, uh, s some kind of flavor cannon, you know, just put in there to, to, to spice things up. You know, they have a lot of cannons that, uh, that that are in place in models in the game during the campaigns, for example, that, like, you can't actually fire or use, but they, they look nice. But we also see a second one on the shoreline just above it, and they both have the same two dudes that are carrying them. So that is a confirmation that Italy is going to have a unique cannon that has a gold barrel that kind of looks like a, a little bombard, but smaller. Uh, so I am very, very curious to see... Uh, where that thing goes. Uh, speaking of the shoreline, we have this dope-ass battleship uh, that looks kind of similar to... Uh, it, it's got a turret on the front with cannons facing 360 degrees, which I don't know why it's facing behind them. What are they going to do, shoot their own fucking sails off? But uh, the, this turret that has cannons all around it uh, seems pretty similar it, with its design mode to use as the tower that's right next to it, but it looks like they're going to have a unique frigate unit. Uh, and I just say this because we see that there's a, a normal galley right here, and so it's just by process of elimination, it's either got to be a frigate unit or uh, or a, uh, I think a, a galleon unit, the, the ones that train, but it looks a little too big to be the ones that train, and a, a little too heavily armed. Uh, so it looks like they're going to have some sort of unique frigate unit. Um, we see some wagons along the left side. I don't make any, I don't make too much out of these. Uh, it looks like, however, uh, the wagon on the left side by the dock has some kind of, like, uh, little clock on the back of it, and that remind it, that that seems pretty similar, at least motif-wise, as these fancy buildings that we went over beforehand, uh, that we don't really know, uh, what they're used for, so it looks, it, my, my guess is that these are wagons, um, for these unique buildings that you can ship. Uh, I suspect, and it looks like we see two of those actually, and I kind of suspect um, that these are going to be uh, economic buildings that you want to spread far out on the map rather than just condense and build into your own base with. 
uh, just by the fact that you're shipping wagons of them, and wagons are kind of notable for being rather mobile. Uh, that, that's just a suspicion, though. Don't take anything too much by it. Uh, if I had to make a guess as to what the building actually is, I uh, maybe a post office or something. Maybe they're adding a, a unique post office mechanic. I'm not entirely sure. It looks like there's writing on the front, actually. Uh, it says... Monty... Yeah, I can't read that. Uh, Defombaria. Monty Defombaria. I'm, I'm gonna look that up, see what that, that translates. Alright, so it looks like the one on the right reads Monte Lombardia, or Lombardia? Monte de Lombardia, uh, which is, which translated, uh, according to Google, uh, translates to uh, Lombardy Mountain, which is, I guess, a mountain in Italy somewhere. Uh, fuck if I know what that means. It's certainly no hint as to what the building is. Uh, and the the one on the left, I think, says Monte Wipleta, uh, but I, fuck, I don't know anything about Italian. I don't know if that's, if I'm even pronouncing that correctly. I think we is French, so, uh, yeah, I got, I got nothing for these buildings. But, if nothing else, based by the little icon on the top, at the, at the very top of the, the, the building there, it looks like we're able to throw red Mario turtle shells at our enemies, which, as we all know, home like nobody's fucking business. Okay, uh, moving on, we see some camps that are for healing units. Uh, speaking of the units, let's let, let's get into them. Uh, we see over on this encampment to the right uh, what appears to be a black rider who's just standing around instead of on his horse. That's nothing special, I don't think. I don't think that's going to signify a new unit. I think he's just chilling there to chill there in the picture. Uh, we also see these uh, new crossbowmen that are carrying kite shields, which is really fucking cool because kite shields were used in the, at the very early part of this time period. Uh, so it looks like we have a uh, unique... Uh, a, a unique uh, crossbow unit. We also have a, what I'm guessing is a unique scout holding a torch by the by the, by the campsite. Uh, and besides crossbow, we also see they have pretty unique pikemen over on the right side here. They have bucklers attached to them, which is a really cool detail. Uh, we also see what appears to be a halberdier unit that is standing guard right in front of the barracks over here. My guess is that these are not actually separate units, but just the veterancy upgrade of these pikemen units. Uh, in any case, it looks like we're going to have a uh, pike-bow combo. I'm hoping that at the very least one, if these are separate pikemen, I, I, I hope the pikemen is coin-costing, because these guys look pretty badass, they have a really cool model, and I want them to be more viable in the late game, so I would really like a coin-costing pike unit. Uh, out of the civilization. It looks like, uh, I can't tell if that's a normal Dragoon or not. I think it might be a normal Dragoon. Um, I, I'm pretty sure normal Dragoons have like yellow ponytails or something like that, and he doesn't seem to have that. Uh, but in any case, uh, we also have some sort of unique spy over here by the market who's holding a gun, hiding behind a tree. He's probably about to be arrested soon, just saying. Uh, by the uh, speaking of this halberdier unit, we get a front view of him here, and we can see by his little skirt that he's wearing or his pants that he is in fact an avid checkers player. We're going to be playing people who are we're, we're going to be playing a civilization whose units are playing 4D chess with us on the battlefield. Uh, now we also also have this uh, very obvious lancer cavalry unit that we see all over the place in the picture. Uh, it, they, they remind me a lot of El Medi, but obviously have a slightly different model. Uh, so it looks like we're going to be having yet another unique Lancer-type cavalry in line with the Naginata Rider and the Chinako. Uh, these look like jousting lances on us, uh, almost, which makes me kind of assume that this is going to be um, like a mounted pikeman-type unit, where it's specifically like a melee anti-cav unit instead of a ranged anti-cav like Dragoons. Uh, that's just raw speculation there, nothing to go on. Uh, we have these units here. I'm not sure what they are. They, their model kind of reminds me of the Highlander, but don't quote me on that. Uh, and then in front of the church, we very clearly have wizards using wizard staffs. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Now, I was searching around for, like, guns and shit because I couldn't really see any guns. 
uh, for a while, but I finally spotted them. There's one, like, there's, there's one dude, like, right here with a rifle, um, he, who's just kind of standing. He's got some kind of uh, Inquisitor-looking armor, uh, looking ass chest piece over there. Uh, we see another one over by the church. Uh, he, the, he is wearing a very snazzy cape. And they got those goofy red hats. I kind of like the design. I'm not entirely sure whether it's going to be a skirmisher or a musketeer type unit. My gut says musketeer because they're probably going to want a unique unit to pair with their unique cannon rather than a unique skirmisher to pair with the utterly ununique dragoon type unit that is over here. Uh, and that's really all I can get from this picture. Uh, if you guys spot any more stuff- Oh, right, uh, I, I did notice that there appears to be, like, a Da Vinci tank behind the cathedral. Uh, of whether or not that's just, like, it, w whether or not that's a unique building, or unit, or just cosmetic for this picture, I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't expect too much gameplay from it, honestly, um, but it is kind of neat. Uh, so there is that. Thank you guys very much for watching and have a great day. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. This was, as ever, a ton of fun to make. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, uh, please do consider subscribing. It really helps the channel out. And have a great day.